I was more afraid than ever that terrible night. We were just kids, playing, without a care in the world. That's it. I think it'll work now. The weather is perfect. My work is finally complete. I tried to stop her, but... I couldn't. I was too afraid. Get away from the light! Oh no! What have I done? She was gone then. And it was all my fault for being so afraid. Finally, everything is set for tomorrow's exhibit. What? It's happened again? I don't believe this. This is the third time something like this has happened. I could really use some help, and I know exactly who to call. The people from the Smithsonian said they had a problem with the power last night. I don't know why they called two seasoned agents in for this instead of electricians. I brought this fancy equipment, but it looks like we won't need it. You go inside and see what's going on. Someone will be waiting for you. I'll stay outside and check the perimeter. Here, this will help you get in. Welcome to the Smithsonian Institution's administrative wing, commonly referred to as the Castle. Designed by James Renwick, Jr., the building was completed in 1855 using red sandstone brought from Seneca Creek, Maryland. The castle eventually became an anchor for the National Mall as museums and government buildings were constructed nearby. Welcome to the Smithsonian Institution. I've been expecting you. I'm Rick Stam. Don't mind the public, there's a press conference underway right now, as a new exhibit just opened today. We had a power outage last night. The electricians have already been through and they didn't find anything amiss. The security system is upstairs. Please follow me. I tried to enter the security system, but I can't seem to get in. Power outage must have something to do with that. Our security chief, who is on his well-deserved vacation, left this in case of an emergency. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm needed downstairs at the press conference. Good luck with your investigation.
So, you have a photo of the suspect. We can use it to test out this facial recognition program. It's the newest thing to come out of help. It's still in the prototype phase, but go on, try it. That's amazing. You've got to be the best agent we've got at help. Looks like our suspect is employed at the Smithsonian. You should check the archive, see what you can find. designated an historic landmark in 1965. It served as the home and office of the first secretary of the Smithsonian, Joseph Henry. Until 1881, it housed all aspects of the Smithsonian's operations, the research and administrative offices, lecture and exhibition halls, the library and reading room, chemical laboratories, specimen storage areas, as well as living quarters for the secretary, his family, and visiting scientists.
Open the door. Let me in right now. Stop. Why are you running? Follow me, and do not come any closer. Sarah! Don't do this! You could damage the timeline! Stop! Ah! Agent, what happened to you? The help box lost your signal. It's like you fell off the face of the earth. Can you hear me? Come here. What brings you here? I would keep my voice down if I were you. There's an important meeting about to take place in the Regent's room. I might be able to help you get in if you'll help me pass the time. We could play a game of chess, but unfortunately I misplaced one of the chess figurines. Maybe you've seen it somewhere. Excuse me, madam. Who are you? We've not had the pleasure of meeting. It can't be. You know Sarah? You must be from her time period. I feared something like this would happen. I... I can't say more. 
I need to find Sarah. She must feel so lost here. about to commence. Attendance only by those who have the training and knowledge to solve this door riddle. If that is you, open the door. Well done, madam. Here you go. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> James Smithson left his inheritance in order for the Smithsonian Institution to be built. Very good, but that's just the beginning. The first building block of the Smithsonian Castle was laid in 1846. Excellent. Here's the next clue. The completed castle was a glorious building and monument of culture. And now, the last part. Mr. Smithson was also a chemist. The possibilities are endless. No, Thomas. We mustn't know what happens in the future. But imagine all the good we could do. Sam, is that you? This can't be. Welcome, traveler. You must be exhausted from your journey. I imagine time travel is not for the faint of heart. I'm sure you understand the dangers involved. As James Smithson once said, it is in his knowledge that man has found his greatness and his happiness. The high superiority which he holds over the other animals who inhabit the earth with him. And consequently, no ignorance is probably without loss to him. No error without evil. 